Tater. Coming at you with a little bit of tips and tricks about trailers. All right. It's tugging my trailer around. And I hit something hard with it. I said, God damn, I hope that didn't hurt nothing. And uh, um, but after a few months went by, I noticed one of my tires chopping, getting wore all weird. So I jacked the trailer up and I spun it. You could tell that rim was just bent to hell. You couldn't really tell by pulling it. It seemed like everything was fine. And um, I just happened to notice it one day, which I'm glad I did because that shit could have blown out on me and caused a hell of a lot more damage. But anywho, I um, put a spare tire on there and that sucker started wearing on the inside. And I'll show you all what I'm talking about here. If you look at that, so this is the outside of the tire, and then if you look on the inside of it, huh? That's some bit wore out. You know, wore pretty fast on the inside. I said, God damn it. I must have bent something, you know. So the only thing I could think of is maybe bent axle, bent spindle or something. Well on the trailers, at least mine, the spindle is 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 welded to the axle, so there's no replacing that unless you have a welding machine and I don't. I've welded before, but I definitely ain't the fucking best at it. So I wouldn't even trust me welding something that holds up all the fucking weight, you know. So I said, well, I guess I can get another axle. And they're they're fairly cheap, I mean considering. Um I was thinking about upgrading the axle and the springs and everything. Just to, why not? If you're going to replace it, might as well go big, right? Big, go big, go home. So, I'm looking at it, took the tire off the hub and everything. I'm looking at it, looking at it. I'm like, man, I'm not. something's obviously fucked up. But everything looks straight. I'm like, man, I don't fucking know. You know, so I decided to measure. And I measured by the tongue of the trailer, you know, the jack stand or whatever, something that's fixed. I can measure from so I put my measuring tape on that and I measured all the way back to the the bolts the u-bolts something that's fixed and as you can see down here these are the u-bolts here you know, and I measured it right there and I did it on the other side too and it's about a half an inch off so basically as I'm driving along the uh one tire over here is getting drugged kind of like cockeyed you know getting drugged along and their side is like this like uh it might have been straight i mean i looked at their tire other tire seemed fine but i imagine it would have fucked it up too it's about a half an inch off is what it looked like so what i did was i loosened up the nuts on the u-bolts there's another one back here and uh, loosen it up of course i put the jack somewhere else i put a center block underneath it to help hold it up and everything and then i hammered the fuck out of it right here as you can see here and down here now that no i don't know if i i'm not even able to see you guys can see here right huh i don't know if you guys there you go right here and then up here and then i tight and uh i can only get it so far I marked with my knife a little half inch spot. I don't know if you can see that or not, but we'll mark it. And I could only hammer that bit so far before it stopped moving on this. Well, shit, maybe that's it, you know. So I decided to measure again, and uh, it seemed like it was spot on with the other one. So I cranked that some of those, those nuts down, cranked them good. And, uh, Put more grease in the for the wheel bearing and everything um and i took this off this is a, a dust cap took that bitch off and there, luckily there's a, a a grease fitting in there so i hooked the grease gun up to it filled that bitch up full of grease you want to be nice and greasy just like me and uh now put it all back together um and we'll we shall see if it worked but the reason why i'm making this video is uh, a lot of times you know i look i hunted down google i youtube did everyone's like oh bent this bent that you know and every video you come across is either for a car 
Or if it is for a trailer, they show you taking the spindle off and there, there's no taking this shit off. You know, there's, it shows you how to fix spindles or, and if you Google it, they'll say, oh, just replace the axle. It's not worth fixing the spindle. So, I said, God damn it. I, I decided, I'm, you know what, I'm just going to fucking fuck with it. You know, I mean, the tread isn't too, too bad. So, I'm going to keep an eye on it. And every week, I'll, I'll see if there's any difference in it. But, uh, strained it out. The whole fucking thing shifted, I guess, is when I hit it, it shifted back. It just kind of makes sense um, why it's wearing on the inside. You think it's wearing on the inside, it, it'll be, you know, Baja style, like, you know, bottoms coming out, which, but I guess not, because I can't find where it's fucking bent down or anything, so. Anywho, so I made that video, so if you ever come across where your know, tire's wearing weird, you know, just on one side, it's not choppy, if it's choppy, you just, your fucking rim's bent, or the hub or the spindle's fucked up or something but if it's just wearing on one side it might not be a bent spindle it could just be in the whole fucking thing shifted now i could have i could have bent the the mounts for the spring too um which is very possible but this should fix it if i move that bitch a little bit forward which i did it might straighten out and then it might start wearing better but you really don't i, I travel a lot for work so um, if it was just around town, I'd say to hell with it, you know, I'd get another one. It wouldn't have wore it down that fast, that bad, you know, but I, I drive long distances and stuff, so, um, uh, so I gotta, I gotta have that, otherwise it'd be replacing, you know, tires left and right. But anywho, I figure I'd share that with y'all. Um, it's one more thing to look for that I haven't found on YouTube yet. Um, so if anyone, I mean, I don't know shit about anything, um, you know, there's a lot of people out there who know a hell of a lot more than me. But this is one thing I, I found that, you know, it is. And it could possibly be your problem. Um, I got another open trailer that I think the, the rim's been on both fucking sides of it. Both tires are wearing weird. Too much weight in it, hitting bumps and shit. That wasn't my fault. It was someone else's. I'm not going to mention any names. But anyways, um... So hopefully that does a trick. I hope you guys wish me luck. Keep your fingers crossed that this is it. Um, if I got to get a new axle, I'll get a new axle. But I uh, really don't want to. <laughs> uh, everything's breaking down on me. So, But when you're running a business, if, it, if everything goes right, you're not doing it right. It's got to go wrong all the time. And then you know you got it right. Shit breaks. Just the nature of the beast. But, uh... Any other advice I can give you is... If you got bad luck with me... And tires... And getting flats all the fucking time... Um... I used to take... <clears throat> my flat tires. I got a flat in the mower. Got a flat in the trailer. Flat in my truck. I mean, three of my tires went flat on me. You know, I got nails and shit you assholes who just throw nails all willy-nilly like you asshole roofers um you know the right way is to put tarps around the house to catch the fucking nails you guys are just falling off the fucking roof which i understand shit's gonna happen right but one house i picked up fuck man hundreds of roofing nails like they give zero fucks about picking the shit up but you roofers, please, for the love of God, pick up after yourself. I, I went out and bought a fucking expensive ass roll around magnet. Expensive for me, probably cheap for you. It cost me around sixty bucks. Roll around the whole goddamn yard it took me two hours, and I still didn't pick up all the fucking. I'm still picking up roofing nails. Yeah, pick it up out of my shoe. I got a helper that comes along. He gets it in his fucking shoe. You know, every time it happens, man, I just want to strangle you people. But uh, I know what company it was too. Uh, and I'm trying to let bygones be bygones, but whenever I see a fucking roof nail on my foot or on a tire, it kind of lights the fire back up again. Anyways, I'll come after you guys one day. Anywho, um, that's my little tidbit on trailers. Uh, best thing to do is not hit shit, uh, but if you do, which it may happen, you know, I've been driving with trailers for, on the, on, hooked up to my, my truck for years. Since I was like 15, 16 years old, man, I've been tugging trailers around, you know, so I mean, I ain't no stranger to 
how I drive them and stuff, but just, you know, you, your mind gets in other places and you fucking forget, you know, where shit is and, you know, where your surroundings are and stuff, but if you ever have a problem with it like that, you can't see anything bent, check that shit, that might be what it is. Alright, hope you enjoyed, Fat Tater out.